Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel and I promised you guys a haul and we are going to do a haul. And I know it's kind of ridiculous to talk about a Black Friday haul right now, but I'm finally getting around to filming it. So we're going to jump right in because I got a lot of stuff and hopefully this doesn't take forever. So anyway, the very first thing that I picked up and I did stop at Walgreens on Thanksgiving Day and the reason I did that was because that was the only day that they were running a diaper deal so anyway but when I was in there I did pick up the uh, Fergie Wet n Wild limited edition University palette and this sucker has 72 eyeshades eyeshadows in it 29 glitter creams and 29 lip glosses. The original price was $30 for it and um, it was 50% off. So I did pick it up and let's see here. So this ginormous box here is what it looks like. Looks like this. And then um, you open it up. somehow and this is what it looks like on the inside mm -hmm. let's see if I can do this without there we go okay so this is what it looks like and then it has these side things that open somehow hang on okay so this is the entire thing Holy moly, 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 moly. I don't know what I would ever, I'm ever going to use this for. Here and there, I'm sure, to get, I mean, that's a lot of colors. But anyway, um, had to have it. Was that Walgreens? Um, I also did pick up their uh, Wet n Wild mascara, the like, try it, uh, best of Wet n Wild mascara collection. So I did also pick up that. Okay. So um, I think that's it for drugstore and the rest of it is Ulta and Sephora so let's just go ahead and talk about uh, Kat Von D because I'm a little obsessed right now with her. So um, I was actually at Marshall's and I got the Starry Eyes Autograph Pencil Set. So it looks like that and I got this for $6.99 at uh, Marshall's so couldn't pass that up picked it up um, I also did get the um, immortal lash and line kit from her I've seen her use this and this mascara so it's mascara and eyeliner and this mascara she says is absolutely great for like if you're putting on false lashes to use that so I'm kind of interested to use it regular and um, with false lashes and let you guys know what I think of that. Okay, um, I have been wanting to try this forever and I finally picked up the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. So I did finally pick this up and my color is in light 46. I think that's my color. I couldn't really tell they've got fluorescent lights in there. A lot was going on. So I just grabbed one and let's hope that that works out. Okay, I did pick up some lipsticks because yes, I did. Um, and right now, actually, I am wearing L-U-V. So I picked that up and I've got it on right now. And of course, I put it back in the box. So I've got to take it out. Anyway, so that is what that looks like, and I do have it on right now. So I picked that up because I have to have purple in my life. I'm not sure. Um, okay, and um, I also picked up the color Lolita. And I would do swatches, you guys, but seriously, oh my gosh a lot of stuff. So I picked up Lolita. Looks like that. I also picked up Coven. And this is that. This is really interesting color. 
Um, I picked up like some weird shades, some wearable sh shades and some weird shades, so that's that. Sorry guys, they are like all up in doing construction in here again, and so my lights, they move them, they don't, they don't care that I've got stuff set up, they just get all up in my business. I did pick up Poe. At this point, I have so many lipsticks that I am just trying, I'm just getting different shades that are kind of different and unique, um, <clears throat> stocking up on those, I guess. Um, okay, and it is back, guys, so if it is one of your favorites, it is my all-time favorite. Lovecraft is available right now online. Um, and in stores and um, so seriously it has been unavailable forever you guys know this is my favorite 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 lipstick I wear it all the time um, Lovecraft I love it I cannot get enough of it so when it came back I um, had to have it okay I did pick up one of her um, everlasting liquid lipsticks and I got this in uh, Baja 5. There we go. Um, it is just so pretty. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, so I haven't actually worn this on my lips yet. Um, but I'm really excited. This is the very first liquid lipstick I have from her, so I'm really excited to give that a try. Okay, I did pick up the Kat Von D Interstellar Eyeshadow Palette. And without blinding you, that's what it looks like. Front and back. And this will go in palette review rotation. I'm really excited basically it looks a lot like her um the packaging anyway is a lot like the um monarch uh palettes that she has same cardboard kind of thing but i did pick that up and then what's in this little goodie bag here okay now, I'm really kind of confused as why this came together like this. Um, I got the Kat Von D True Romance um, eyeshadow palette, and this is called uh, Ladybird. So that is upside down for you. So that's what it looks like, and then you open it up, and you've got the eyeshadows in here. And then it does come with a um, Immortal Love Autograph Pencil. So that's the brown one. Now when you buy the palette, for some reason, they also gave me the uh, Lightning Liner, and this is the Metallic Liner. Which not for some reason, that's what it is. And it's just in jet, so it's in black. And it's all kind of weirdly locked up with like this thing right here. So I'm not going to open it because we'll talk about that later. But then it did come with an Immortal Love, another Immortal Love um, liner. And then the Pearl Armor, whatever, the black one. So it came with the brown and the black. So in the set I got two browns and one black and they're exactly the same. So... Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, so that's what I picked up from Kat Von D. Okay, so moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Sephora. Seriously, seriously. Okay, um, I don't even know where to start. Um, oh, well, I did cash in my 500 points, and I did get this, this little packet from... Um, Josie Maron, so I'm really excited to try that stuff. I don't know why I picked this up. I, I know why I picked this up because I went to go actually get a different palette and they didn't have it, so because I was there 
I picked it up. I don't know how I feel about it. I did get the Naked on the Run palette. I don't know guys, this thing doesn't scream at me or call my name, but you know how it is when you get in those stores, you just gotta buy something. So I did pick this up, we've all seen it by now, I believe. That is what it looks like. So anyway, I did pick that up, so what else? Oh, when I was at Marshall's, I found these for $4.99, so I got the Physician Formula, the Happy Booster bead bronzer. I also found the cashmere wear and then the blush and bronzer. And for five dollars a piece I couldn't pass them up because that stuff is not not cheap. Okay, um, I did pick up the Smashbox double exposure palette. It's kind of funny because I picked this up, but I'm looking at this and the other Kat Von D ones that I got, and man, they look a lot the same. So I did pick this up. So kind of excited to get in here and see what I think about that. Um, these you can use wet or dry. They advertise it wet or dry anyway. Um, so yes, okay, so got that. I did pick up the Smashbox on the Rocks eyeshadow palette. Now, what I will say is I kind of wish I didn't pick this one up. So, I got this one and I actually ordered it online. I haven't even opened it yet. I don't even know how to open it. How the heck do you open this? Oh, it's a magnet. Okay, so anyway, um, ordered this online. And that's what it looks like. Now, maybe I will. I mean, I'll probably just keep it. Who knows? It's research, right? It's for you guys. But when I went to the store, um, they had this one, the Smashbox on the rocks, the little guy. And I just assumed that the little guy was just little and the big guy was big and they all had the same shadows. This just had less. Er, wrong. If you're going to get one, and this was on sale for 18 I didn't get it for $18. I paid full price for it, but I saw it online at Sephora for $18. Or not Sephora, uh, Ulta. This is the one you want. This is the one you want. And I know I said we weren't going to do swatches, but let's just, I mean, seriously, you guys, I ha I'm, look at these colors. I couldn't. After swatching it, I had to have this one. And then I kind of like regretted buying the big one because I was like, oh. But anyway, we'll see. We'll do a review on them and see what we think. That's just my initial impression. I haven't even swatched the big one yet. I have absolutely no idea. I just really, really like that little one. Okay, um, I did pick up a little Bite Beauty. Of course, you know, they've got that stuff at the at the uh, checkout and then you're just like oh yeah yeah it's not like it's on a deal or anything okay but I do have a complaint about this it comes in a box this size okay the box is this size why is the lipstick this size why anyway um one side is fig and these colors are just really um fig Really liked them. Thought they were. I thought this would be good for travel, but one of my one of the ends here that it doesn't doesn't stay on, so not good for throwing in your purse. And the other one was a uh, date. So that's it right there. So anyway, um, I don't have any Bite Beauty. Not a lot anyway. So wanted to give their lipstick a try. Okay, um, somehow I've got a little Smashbox thing that must have come in something. Oh, I did pick this up. Um, the Bare Minerals, the Marvelous Moxie, and this is in Hip... Hypnotist? I don't know if this is going to do anything, but you know, you just have to... I just had to have it. I mean, I had to have it. How could you not have to have that? Look how beautiful it is. So... I don't know. We'll see. We'll do a review. Maybe a first impression on that. Um, but da -da. I did pick up three uh, NYX. Um, three of them? Yes, three of them. 
I got um, okay this is uh, Milan Prague and Stockholm and these are the matte ones kind of really been liking the matte lip lately I used to really not like it but I, I uh, kind of liking it now um, per April Harker Beauty if you guys are not watching her you need to because she's amazing and she said that I needed to have this <laughs> she didn't specifically say that but um, I she, yes okay Blech. the Josie Marin Co coconut watercolor eyeshadow which sounds so strange so that's what the it looks like. Uh, they only had four colors at my Sephora, and I got um, uh, Palo del blah, 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 Palo del Pink, and so this is what it looks like, and it is really liquidy. Okay, so it's like liquidy, and you guys, this is just this is this is gonna blow your mind. It comes with a little applicator, but we we don't have we don't have time for that. <laughs> Okay, so it comes with this. Now I'm kind of nervous because when I was in Sephora, the this part of the applicator had broken off on all of them. So I don't know if people were just being really crazy or what. Let's give this a good shake. Okay, let's hope that hope that worked. The I could I just could not get over the color payoff of this and it I swatched it in the store and it lasted forever. So I'm kind of really excited to um, play around with that little guy. Okay, um, I was on Outlook and they had the lip bar and um, never tried them before, but I'm really was really excited too. And I was really excited that I found them on Outlook because I want to say their lipstick is like 22. Oh, open already. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, how do we get this open? Oh my goodness. I want to say it's like $22. Anyway, look at the packaging on this. It is so cool. Like, that's the lid. And it comes like this. And of course, I got it in Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Okay, sorry, I won't sing to you guys. And that's what that looks like. So I'm excited to give them a try and see what I think about the packaging though. It just really drew me in to that. Um, I also got the um, Mood Matcher lipstick. Um, this was also on Outlook. It was $2. Now I don't know what is going on here because I bought the blue and it, like basically in this description it basically said hey, you get the color and then you swatch it or you put it on and then it changes like to like a pinky color. Well, mine is pink. It is not blue. So I do not know. Also, I am not going to swatch this. Maybe we'll talk about this on another video. Um, I swatched this when I first got this, like really confused as to what was going on. It didn't change a color. It stayed on. However, um, I wore this on my hand for probably about a week. I put it on my lips and it was three days before it actually came off. Like it stained my lips to the point like it was like stained. Like literally my lips had to like shed to get the color off. It was unbelievable. And not in a good way, like, I mean, I want my lipstick to stay, but come on, that's ridiculous. I did pick up two NYX um, lip liners. I got one in, this is just natural, and the other one in Bloom. And last but not least, I got the High Shine Intensely Hydrating Voluptuous Curls from Buxom in Yao. You know, I don't have anything from them either, so picked that up. And that's it right there. Okay, so then I got a couple samples. We will not go through samples because we do not have time for that. 
<sighs> because, you know, I can't uh, keep things together, I actually picked up two double exposure palettes. Because I can't remember what I'm purchasing. Like, I don't even know what's going on. Um, but last but not least, I did get the Too Faced um, Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that is what it looks like. And we open it up. And that is what it looks like. Okay, now first of all, I do have to swatch this color because this is the color that I got the palette for. Not totally impressed. have it because I had to have it because I had to have it because I had to have it so we'll do a review on it too and see what we think okay seriously you guys so um that's why I am broke and I have no money I feel like it should be more but yeah wow that's my haul Okay, so I've got a ton of palettes to review. Holy cow, I need to get on the ball. Um, yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think and um, what you guys want me to review. Hopefully we will get to it all. Probably not because there's a lot of stuff here. But anyway, okay, that's it guys. That's my haul. That's what I did on Black Friday and Cyber Monday too. This That's Cyber Monday is included in that too. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!